If you've been to Cincinnati, Ohio in the summer, you've probably seen these lizards running across sidewalks, buildings, and stone walls. At first glance, they look like your plain, average, everyday lizard, but these guys are hiding a secret. They're not supposed to be here. Meet the common wall lizard. As their name suggests, these small lizards live within the cracks of walls and other stone structures. Native to Central and Southern Europe, these lizards can be found scampering across rocks. But if they're native to Europe, how do they get to be in Cincinnati? In the early 1950s, a young boy went on a vacation with his family to northern Italy. He caught a few of these lizards and shoved them in a sock, smuggling them back to his home in Cincinnati. He released them, and now they've completely taken over Cincinnati and the surrounding areas. Scientists hypothesized that this boy brought back as little as three lizards. It's really incredible how these lizards have thrived in this new environment. You might be thinking that these guys are an invasive species, but at this point, we actually consider them non-native. So what's the difference? Well, non-native species are species that don't belong in a particular environment. They could have been unintentionally moved, or like these guys, intentionally brought back to a new environment. An invasive species is a type of non-native species. The only difference being that invasive species actually cause some type of damage to the environment or economy. We consider these wall lizards non-native because, as far as we know, they don't cause that damage. In the streets of Cincinnati where these guys live, no other lizards live there. That means that these lizards aren't out-competing any native species or harming the environment. But just because they aren't doing any harm now, doesn't mean that they can't move to places where other lizards live. So we need to learn more about these lizards and try and stop their spread, so they don't outcompete any other native species. The first step in studying these lizards is to catch them. To do this, scientists use a very unique method. They go lizard fishing. Using a telescopic fishing pole, researchers tie a slip knot around the end. Maneuvering the slip knot around the head of the lizard, the knot will tighten, and the lizard will be caught. Because Cincinnati is heavily urbanized, these lizards provide scientists the opportunity to study how evolution occurs in the city. Cities might not seem like the ideal place to study evolution, but to scientists, they are environments like no other. Cities are the only environments with stacks of metal, slabs of concrete, and piles of bricks. Generally, cities are thought to be bad news for many animal species. Urbanization destroys habitat, increases pollution, and puts a lot of animals in close proximity with humans. But surprisingly, the city creates a lot of new habitats for the animals that can withstand these changes. Scientists want to know why certain species are doing so well in the city, while other species aren't. Because these lizards thrive in the city, they're perfect for understanding that concept. Scientists have actually found that these lizards are changing to their new environment. Their body structure is changing, and they're experiencing higher temperatures in the city. These lizards could be adapting to this new environment right before our very eyes. The common wall lizard is an amazing case of how successful a species can be when moved to a new environment. Being a non-native species, they aren't hurting anything, but they could easily do so if they spread. But for now, let's just admire them as they scamper across sidewalks and houses. Permanent fixtures of Cincinnati.